Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. If you are planning to come to Canada with your baby, then please know that you might face some challenges if you plan to put your baby in a daycare because there is a long wait list of at least 4 to 5 months. So in this video, I am going to share some strategies that you should apply as soon as possible before you even land in Canada so that you have a higher probability of finding a place in a daycare for your baby as soon as possible. But before that, let me just show you around. It's a lovely weather today and we are outside in a park. So let me show you how it looks like. Alright, so the first step is that you have to register your child in a daycare. And for that, you don't have to be in Canada necessarily. You can do that from your home country as well. So, for example, if you're planning to land in Canada in a couple of months, then you can start applying in daycares from your home country. So, to do that, first you need to decide your location. So, if you're planning to land in Toronto, for example, then just look for top 10 daycares in Toronto on Google. Look for their email address, their phone number and just start sending the email to each one of them and just say that your child is these many years old or these many months old and you want to put your child in their wait list. In some cases, they can also provide you a virtual tour via WhatsApp call. So you can speak to them and you can take a virtual tour if that works out for them. If not, then anyway, it is a very good idea to add your child to the wait list. So when you land in Canada in a couple of months, you will have a better probability of getting a position for your child in a daycare in just a month or a two. So this is what we did. We started applying for daycares while we were in India a couple of months before. And still we have to wait for at least a couple of more months. But we are still ahead of those people who have started with this process after landing in Canada. So it is highly, highly recommended that you start doing this process while you are in your home country. But there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. Number one, they won't really tell you like how many people are there in the waitlist. In some cases they might, but in most daycares they won't. Second, as soon as they find a position for your child, they will send you an email and you will have to reply within 24 hours and probably you will have to pay a registration fees as well. So, in case you are not in Canada already by that time and you miss replying to their email or registering your child, then you would lose that position and it would go to the second person in the waitlist. So, just don't apply to daycares blindly. Just make sure that you know where you are going to land. Maybe just choose a city or two maximum. But just don't apply blindly because that probably might not help you. You have to be sure that you will be in this location by this time. So, when the position comes, you would be able to occupy it. Alright, now you have applied to these daycares, you have registered yourself and you, now you are in the waitlist. The next step is, once you land in Canada, you should start visiting these daycares in person. You should see it for real, how do you like it, is it good or not. So, based on your visit personally, you may find some of them very, very good compared to others. So, in that case, you should really show your interest to the director or the other people that you meet uh, in the daycare and you tell them that we are really interested in your daycare so if you can try and figure out something for us so in Canada you can send your child to daycare for two days for three days or for five days so for example if position is not available for five days you may be able to find something for two days or three days so see if you can figure out something because for children also it's important to go out you know in a new country meet with new people so even if they can go out for two days that is gonna be really really helpful in terms of the fees, generally for 5 days, it cost about $600 to $700. The price used to be $1,500 earlier, but 52% of the fees is subsidized by the government. And that's why you end up paying just $700 or $600 in most daycares. In some of them, charges are higher. So there is one chain, Kitson Company, which is a very well-known chain. And they charge about $930, but in others, it's about $600 to $700. There are a few daycares where you would where the charges are even less. It's about four hundred to five hundred dollars. So start applying to all of these daycares and visit them for real, and then see which one you like the most. Show your interest, and probably you will be able to find something sooner than the other. So this is how it works. Apart from that, uh, all of these daycares are subsidized by the government, and they are licensed by the government. So the facilities that you are gonna get would be almost similar, but there might be some differences. So generally the daycare starts at 7 a.m. and at 6 p.m. So if you are somebody who has to travel to another city for work, for example, then you have the option to drop your child at the daycare as early as 7 a.m. 
but then you have to pick them back up by 6 pm if you are late by say 10 or 15 minutes it's fine but more than that, it would be problematic and you will have to pay some additional charges. Yeah, so this All is right, there are two so more very different. important things that you need to know about daycares in Canada. You are not allowed to send anything to eat with your baby, like fruits, food, anything. They serve three meals to every child and they will also give you a list of everything that they are going to eat. If they are allergic to something, you can let them know in advance. But they generally take care of the meal for them. They also give them milk in every meal. So you don't have to worry about it at all. The second thing is that please look for a daycare wherein you can get access to the camera to the room where your child would be most of the time so that you can see what your child is doing the whole day but at the end of the day they would be sharing the details with you like what did they eat how many hours did they sleep everything with you so make sure that you ask them about these details when you are really shortlisting the daycares where you want to put your child Yeah, so this is how it works so this is generally the daycare scene here in canada but for example if you are still in the wait list and you're not able to find a daycare for your child then the other option is home-based daycares so home-based daycares are also licensed most of them just make sure that you find a licensed daycare but in home-based daycares you would probably find a position for your child as soon as you land in canada you we have already shortlisted a few so if you start working and you have to put your child in a daycare then you have the option of home based daycares but the facilities would not be at par with other you know more structured licensed daycares but you still have the option if you immediately have to go and work so start exploring home based daycares also they are cheaper first of all but the facilities are not going to be as good as other licensed daycares in canada but you still have the option yeah, so these are the things that you should do about daycares and start working on it before you land in Canada. I know people focus a lot on finding a job and finding a place to live, but daycares and, you know, getting to know the city, the country, these things are also very important. So please pay attention to these things as well so that you have a smoother transition as you land in a new country. Yeah, so this is all I wanted to share in this video. Please let me know if you have any other questions and I'll be more than happy to answer in the comment section below. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.